So <clears throat> you didn't want to come last week when we were scheduled to have you on. So no. what, talk talk to us about. Um, that. I don't like uh, where we do the pod. Mm. We're not in. Yes, we're we in are. the Eureka Sky Tower. <laughs> no, I'm bec- gonna dox the pod immediately. Yeah. <laughs> well, how do you know where you are when considering that to get here we? Uh, chloroformed you and put you in the boot of our car and drove you somewhere. I can smell poor people when I... <laughs> what, what car did we drive here in then? Mm, not a very good one. I hey, you it. take that back right now. <laughs> Just gotta say it. The fuckers. <laughs> this was a, um, this was an impression of Blake calling up to, to ring us last week. Oh, actually, just a random impression. Do you want to... Liam has to guess who I am. Are you getting... Okay, yeah. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? No, oh. you're, you're meant to answer. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> ring, 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 ring. <coughs> hello, hello, Liam speaking. Uh, hello. Hi. Hi, who's this? Uh, it's it's Blake. Remember your friend Blake? Blake, Blake. Well, I know a lot We're of Blakes. We're supposed to be doing the podcast today, but I'm a little bit sick. Oh, Blake Pavey. Oh, yeah, you're coming in to do the pod today, aren't you? I can't come because my tummy hurty. Oh, what? <laughs> my tummy very hurty. Oh, Right, well, that really fucks us around, so... I can't believe he's fucking buying this. My tummy still, what very, was that? You're still on the phone, Blake? My tummy very hurty, and I don't like you guys very much. Uh, that's Blake. <laughs> yeah, that's Blake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for fucking us around and costing the studio money, Blake. It's uh, Millions, some would say, but, you know, <sighs> lucky yeah. we make billions. <laughs> Before we uh, take it any further, we should probably... Cater to those viewers and listeners who have no idea who Blake is, which is probably every single one. Uh, Blake, for those wondering, <laughs> Blake, for those wondering, is uh, not an NBA player, not an expert on sex. Well, he might be, mm. uh, but he is, there however, he is. a self-confessed funny man. Blake loves to tell jokes in front of large crowds yep. and shit tons of dollars doing it. Yep. And uh, yeah, we, we, we're here to learn a bit more about Blake. The funny man and how he makes money. Thanks. TikTok superstar. As yeah. Well. TikTok yeah. OG, I'd say. I'd say yeah. Blake's like the Dr. Dre of uh, TikTok. Australian yeah. TikTok. Like, I remember watching Blake's TikTok lives in the bath. Pause. When I was. Um, <laughs> when I, I actually have a, like a. Uh, what's it called? A core memory of this. I was watching you when you had like 174,000.9 followers. Mm. Not even kidding. I'd remember it being exactly that. And I was watching, and I you, I probably had like a thousand TikTok followers, and I was watching you on TikTok Live just answer questions, and I was like, "Fuck, that's so cool that people want to ask Blake questions, and he gets to answer them, and mm, he must yep. be so popular at school and so cool, and I'm just fucking not any of those things." So, yeah, he really cu- uh, was a trailblazer. Thank for the, you for the rest of us TikTokers. I'd in say, yeah, I'd say, and I can include myself I'd in that, say, in that yeah. conversation now. <laughs> I'd say, for especially for country boys like ourselves, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, you definitely, definitely held the flame because I would watch TikTok and I'd see like, remember Box Boy? No, <laughs> that guy who would like slide on the, he'd put the soap down in like Main Street, main, like middle of Melbourne, and like run and slide and no, you know, <laughs> what the fuck? You don't. Oh, he no. was big on TikTok, and I'd look at people like that, and I'm like, oh, you have to be good at sliding to be a TikToker, or you have to be fucking good looking. But then I saw Blake, and I was like. <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, so you are a, stand- a big time touring stand up comedian, Blake. And uh, t- how's that? How's that? How's that? Yeah, it's good. I'm done now, though. So um, mm. I'm in the off season now, <laughs> which is good. Um, but yeah, no, the tour was fun. There's, mm. It was pretty tame, I think. Zach joined me for a lot of it. Mm. Would you say it was tame, Zach? Uh, it was tame, mostly. Did, did producer Zach fuck you around as much as he fucks us around? Um,. No, I'm trying to think of what Zach did on tour. Zach, uh, Mum would a lot. There was a lot of kissing. A lot of kissing. Yeah. We'll get straight into it. You, straight into questions because yeah. you seem nervous and we want to just warm you up. <laughs> My first podcast. I don't do podcasts, man. <laughs> You're not allowed to shout out your own podcast. So let's Fuck. just let's just get well, that the, out of the way. Why the fuck am I here? And you can't say the letters BLT within like they have to be spread apart by a minute each. Yeah. Like, okay. Done. Okay. So. Uh, getting straight into it, you've got cystic fibrosis, the uh, terminal respiratory illness, correct? Yeah. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Last week as well. 
that that's when yeah, I yeah I mean it. that just about proves it proves me. it proves no, nothing the, the jury's still out on that mm. one so yeah, yeah. Um, leave that one up to the audience's discretion all right well how do you spell cystic fibrosis then um do you know what's funny? I remember when I was in year twelve, we did like it was like the last day of school. So then the joke was of a like CF sort of stuff, and we did a cahoot on uh, cystic, fi- and I came fourth <laughs> <laughs> in like the whole year. What was so your you cahoot name? Have... Huh? What was your cahoot name? I think it was like something. I think it was like something to do with CF as well, oh, and about yeah. how I was definitely going to win. <laughs> Yes. We should do it. Did any of the people who finished ahead of you have CF? No. Was absolutely. there anyone else in Korowa who did? No, I was the only one, I think. We should do a segment on here, best Kahoot names. We should do a Kahoot on here. Yes. yes we should do a Kahoot something. with all of our former guests when we get to like <laughs> ep, ep 50. So what what is it like listening with... Li- uh, listening? listening? Living oh, with... Uh, living with uh, cystic fibrinus. Um, I've, I've, uh, I've that's enough of that. <laughs> um, so I've got a question. What's your exact home address? Like where, like where you actually ro- live right now in Melbourne? I live at in uh, Richmond. Mm. Ah, um, Kabook. Kabook. Yeah, Kabook. very nice. Yeah, um, you do a lot of drugs, right? Uh, yes. So what, what's that like? It's pretty good. Um because I got cystic fibrosis. So oh, no, we're out. talking about the illicit Cystic drugs. fibrosis? Yeah. Fibrosis. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, drugs are good. Wow, mm. there you have it, listeners. Blake Pavey. So you'd know from doing, good. from doing them? Mm. Right. Wow. Digestive pills. No, 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 no. Poo. We're not talking about... We're talking about the ones that you like to do and like tried to sell to us. On the way here. The party drugs, I think you Do you have it? any mm. sympathy for the horses whose tranquilizers you're stealing? No. I heard that a f- couple of the Flemington racehorses have had to g- undergo surgery with no tranquilizers because you've been snorting it all at the mm. Arcadia toilets. Is that true? Can you confirm? Yes or no? Not at the do Arcadia you, toilets, no. Do you, <laughs> do you have any sympathy for the cocaine, for the Wall Street brokers whose cocaine you're stealing? Who probably can't function at the highest level now. No. I do not. I have none at all. Okay. What's your current net worth? How much money do you have in your bank account right now? I have. Do you want to guess? I do. It. All right. So I'm okay. assuming you have a couple of accounts. Let's go the spending, spending account. account. Spe- okay. That's are you good. just give me the? Are you a man who keeps all your money in the spendings account, or you like transfer when you need to buy something? I have all my money in my business account. Pay myself. A certain amount each week and then that's what i spend for the week and is that all kept in your savings account uh it's in my smart access account okay and then whatever i have, whatever I have left over i put into savings okay. Okay. Okay, okay 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 so let's just assume that he hasn't spent all of his weekly payments yeah but this probably yeah. backed up a bit i'm gonna go with no, it goes, the backed up goes into his spendings i mean his savings oh yeah so oh so it won't be it won't be like it won't be over 2K. Blake isn't... No, nah, I nah. was thinking maybe like in the 1481 mark. Mm, I'll, I'll go... 1481. I'll go... Wait, this is just a weekly occurrence you're paying yourself? Yes. Oh, okay, I'll go... Down. I'll go... Uh, $820. No, I was going to go down to like 700 so I'm going to yeah. chat, mix it up and go... Blake is pretty rich. $1,100. I... Well... You're you're pretty close. Mm. Yeah, because I have to buy all those party drugs every week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what have we got here? This is um, a fan question. No, no, we still got one more. No, yeah, yeah this is a fan question oh, from yeah. me. What's your Medicare card number and credit card number or numbers on any and all bank accounts? I'm gonna go ahead. Also, and passport s- number issue. Say, yeah. I don't have Medicare. I have Medibank because I'm rich. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. I wonder what that's like. Yeah. All right. Enough of that silliness. We've asked you a couple of prank little jokey questions. All right. We're, we're pretty funny ourselves, <laughs> but in all seriousness. I do want to talk about how you and I came to meet because our friendship roots go a lot deeper than the people who roots. Comment. You've guys have had sex before. What? Uh-huh. All the people who comment on my YouTube videos, you should collaborate with Blake Pavey. <laughs> it actually makes me lose complete faith in humanity. It's yeah. like you should com- collaborate with Blake Pavey for Fairburn Films. I'm like, I've been doing that for years. I get that a lot on my thing as well. It's like you, I'll post a BLT clip and someone will be like, you guys should, you should collab with Luke Kidgel. <laughs> I'm like, he's in the fucking clip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you want to talk through how we met? If not, I can take the reins. Or I'll, ju- I'll jump in every now and then, but I want to hear it from your side because, yeah, it's it's different. To okay, well, I remember we met when we were both... After we'd gotten to Melbourne, I believe. I think we were both living there. I think we'd both gotten out of country New South Wales. 
No, wasn't it? No, nah, didn't you do that nah, one video together? No, we did that ranking alcohol video. Oh, there was that one video, yeah. yeah. And, and then that popped off. And then a couple of months later, we were... I remember we were driving to the Canberra airport, mm. which is the most fucking boring drive in the history of man <laughs> from Auburn to Canberra. Mm. And then we started talking about this. We were just talking about party life in country New South Wales. And I started talking about a party that occurred in Corowa that had like 500 people just started bashing each other at once. Mm. And then as we were driving, Liam was like, oh yeah, was that it? Was that it? blank names house and then it turns out we we're at the exact same party like three years before we met <laughs> yeah and it was a big uh there was a big ordeal and fight out the front and i was just standing out there going what is happening i was just doing flips into the pool so <laughs> so the albury coral lads just love i remember that i remember that, like I remember fucking that bulls whoever they beefed with i remember that day at school all the coral <laughs> boys were like because the dude who was hosting the party came to my school and he was like, oh, yeah, like, we're going to get the Aubrey boys in. We're going to fucking back them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we were like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then the Aubrey boys got to the party and they were like, no, we're going to fucking back you, Cora boys. And then I just, can just remember standing out the front with one of my mates just watching hundreds of people try to bash each other. Mm. And then my math teacher lived across the road and came out and he's like undies and shit and was like, what's going on? Mm. Fully yeah. just bricked up. And I yeah. followed closely behind in my own just going, yeah, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, and so they full just like everyone started <laughs> fighting each other. Yeah, well, the, the, the old Aubrey boys, they are, them and the Lavi boys and the Wodonga boys, they all are not afraid of a tussle. Yeah. yeah wow. In fact, I'd almost go as far to say they love it. Wow. Like, it's like, what is our checklist for the weekend? Get beers, steal darts, fight cunts. Yeah. <laughs> well, I knew people that would bash that, like they would fight their mates out the front of a party if they were bored and like full punch on and then just be mates and like come back in like bleeding after. They'd just go out on the road and bash each other because they just fucking loved it. Huh. That is Fucking awesome. <laughs> Sick, isn't it? Um, so I'm spewing I ever left that place. Yeah, well, I'm just going to address the obvious. I, For those who have been watching us for three and a half years, Blake had a character, a dad character called Paul, also the name of Blake's dad, Paul. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was a big inspiration for me creating my original series, Daz of the Dream, whom was also a country Aussie dad character. And for those who say that I copied Blake... You You're absolutely yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> and it, it worked. So yeah, but um, then people always ask me why I'm so skinny, and I'm like, because I'm fucking carrying the weight of Australian internet comedy on my fucking back. Every <laughs> Clip <day."> that. <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> um, no, yeah, but it was actually really nice of you. A, a memory that I have initially with our friendship is when uh, I had like four thousand fucking TikTok followers, and you had like two hundred k. Which back back then, two hundred k was like having a fucking two million now. And I messaged you on Instagram and said, hey, Blakey, fucking, you're from Coral, I'm from Albury, you're a boy, I'm a boy. We're both, we're both in the business of getting TikTok famous. You got any choice advice for me? And you gave me a lot of advice and like words. And then I even said, do you want to do a video together? And we didn't even, we weren't even together. We just, you filmed clips on your phone in selfie mode, sent them to mm -hmm. me, and then I just added them to clips of me in selfie mode. And it, yeah, the video flopped, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was great. And I just wanted to give a professional world thanks to you for making all this this possible yeah. for us. Yeah, because wow. you really lit the torch that started the bushfire. I oh, know. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, well, it's good to see I start bushfires metaphorically as well now, which is good. So <laughs> it's good. Yeah, well, <clears throat> blo Bloth? <laughs> you so uh, you're talking about that. <laughs> No, no, I was going to say both of us, but I just, yeah, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all over the shop. But yeah, we've obviously come a long way and now you're a stand-up to... We're not going to ask you about your fucking TikTok journey and how you started because everyone's asked you that and Thank honestly, you. we don't give a fuck. Thank you. But, um, but how did you start your first, TikTok journey? <laughs> how did you start your first ever TikTok? Did you like your fucking get paid from this shit? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but um, I think the thing that we're all and the internet's probably more interested in nowadays is your current career, not your mm. past we don't care about the skeletons in your closet mm -hmm. that you definitely have. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, you, you, you've, you're touring Australia doing shows. And how, how did that come about? Was it something you always wanted to do? I know that the answer is probably yes, but talk to us about how that actually came to happen because for a lot of people doing TikTok comedy, that's the dream and they can't quite make it as big as you already have. So what words of advice do you have for people who want to be successful and rich like you? Words of advice? Uh, well, I'd probably say... 
if you want to get to the level that I did, um, <laughs> you should, um, yeah, give up. Because um, <laughs> it's never going to fucking happen. Um, and Blake will make no, sure just of kidding. that. If you work really hard and you just sort of keep at it for years, never stop grinding, um, work hard, be nice to people. Um, we just, don't do that over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my idea of fun. Have the best attitude, um, work hard, grind hard, <laughs> sleep hard, repeat. You too, one day can do one show at the Wagarara. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the dream. Yeah. True. That's the dream that's of that's any young Maybe explain kid. that because that was a fucking funny night. Yeah. Yeah, the Wagga. Well, for you boys, it was a funny night. Wait, so you did a Australia tour selling out venues. What was the biggest one? Like 2,000? No, nah, well, yeah, yeah, 2000. <laughs> no, nah, the biggest one was like 800 and something. Oh, wow. Like, so, yeah. well, well, I don't get this cut on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, so you've done tours like that, but then you've also done the Wagga RSL. So what, what, what's going on there? Why the, why the Wagga RSL? Because well, there's just nowhere else in Wagga. It's either that or like the skate park. Oh, what about the, <laughs> what about the Wagga Comedy Club? That Is there did, a comedy club in Did you Wagga? not know about the it? World famous one. It's not, like the world-famous one. Chris Rock did it last yeah. week. Fuck. No, I'm not good enough. I've also got yeah. the Wagga Wave Pool. Anyone who's <laughs> watching, he's been in the Wagga Wave Pool. <laughs> Yeah, tell, tell us about that story. Well, he was just—he was actually a really nice dude, but he just didn't have the social like cues to know how a show would work, which is fine. I'm happy to deal with that. But uh, he gets the up little cunt, and then <laughs> he just kept like saying little things, and his mum was next to him. Uh, he just kept saying, I can't remember exactly what he said, mm. but I said something and I was like, yeah, all right, uh, look at this guy. Oh, oh, yeah, this cheeky bugger. And he was like, I said something that was kind of mean, but not. Um, and then he just, go, and then he was like, nobody fucking likes you. Oh he, yeah. And he goes, How old was he? He would have been like 23, yeah, 20, yeah, And he was like wearing a t-shirt with your face. Yeah, on. I had my merch. No, right. Okay. So this is what happened was we were before the show setting up everything and Blake was in the green room. And then uh, someone came up to us at the thing and they were like, oh, because it's an RSL, my son's not allowed in here in a singlet. So can we buy one of your pieces of merch so that he can come in? And oh, and it was him. And yeah. it, was, it has to have been him because then like he came in already wearing a piece of merch. It had to have been him show. because that's the only way I get people to buy my merch is <laughs> yeah. through, through strict club New South Wales <laughs> licensing rules. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then he, I say something to him, and then he got genuinely offended. He was like, "Nobody fucking likes you. Mm. Nobody, f you fucking suck." And, and then I was, and that's why I, I just said to him, "I was like, can't you're wearing a shirt with three of my heads on it." And I'm what, like, clearly, I've got a fan here. And what did he say? And then he just kind of went quiet again. And then, He's like, uh, oh fuck, I do have that. Yeah, and then he, and then it was like f another forty minutes. Zach was there, like mm. where I just had to. I didn't do the show. I just did prayer work for pretty much the whole time. And at one point I had to go, how long have I been on stage? And then Tyler, who works on the crew, was just like, too fucking long from the back of the room. <laughs> it was, so you it was bombed fucked. it. No, it wasn't. They were laughing. Yeah, it was just a shit show. Like so people the, were just yelling yeah. out. People so the, are the, 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 there's a message here and I want it to be loud and clear for everyone in the room and all the people watching at home. Wagga is a shithole. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a tale as old as time. Yeah. And whether you learn it from swimming in the Wagga wave pool like me as a youth, <laughs> Or you learn it from performing at the RSL like Blake, <laughs> it's a shithole. Yep. Mm. And fuck Wagga. Wagga sucks. Um, I actually love Wagga. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. Um, but I, no, I remember, that's the thing with most shows, even if I bomb for an hour straight, like Shepparton, for example, was the worst show I've ever done. In my yeah, opinion, but it was like so. an hour of silence and I had to do two of them in one night. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and say that Wagga's better than Shepparton. You, f by far And Shepparton yeah. Shepparton's a hole <laughs> Yeah it's But then Shepparton I I went on stage For like two hours That whole night And just bombed the entire time To genuine silence And uh, it was the worst show I've ever done But then at the meet and greet People would be like that Blakey Best show I've ever fucking seen mate <laughs> <laughs> Fucking good stuff We'll be coming back next year And they'd yeah. all get merch And stuff yeah. It's insane I reckon that they're just Embarrassed to laugh With their mates no. like They don't want to show That they're like Enjoying something Blokes are weird Because I also get mm. a lot of a lot of my crowd are female because mm. just chicks are more organised. When's your next show? Uh, <laughs> uh, chicks are way more organised, I've found. And then they bring their boyfriends along and then I think it's the thing of another dude is making your girlfriend laugh. So that's why they get... Mm, mm. Yeah. The Shepparton one was a shit set up as well. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah. And it would be also because you're notoriously famous for sleeping with all the women mm. in the crowd after yeah. shows. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're probably that just, is something that yeah. should be on the flyer. I, I think so, yeah. yeah. Do, you, Do you find that like in small towns you get a bit of that like... 
Like, this is something with, that happens with me. If I get recognised in a small town, it's specifically fucking Albury, everyone's always cuntier. They're always just, like, taking the piss because they don't want to be like, oh, yeah, I'm acknowledging someone's oh, done something. Yeah, They're I all remember, fuckheads. But I in remember, Melbourne, everyone's nice enough to just be like, oh, yeah, I appreciate that he's done yeah, something. Or be like... Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's country people. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> it's country people. Me and Zach were out mm. at the Richmond Social about two months ago, mm. and this girl comes up and she was like, "Oh my god, blah, you're a crowd work guy." Blah blah blah. And then her boyfriend came up and he was like, "He was obviously from the country." And then he just came up and he was like, "No," and he shook my hand. And he was like, "No, oh, I just don't really think you deserve like the money." <laughs> just, just said that to your face yeah, And we were like Oh Like what do you mean He's like Oh like Fucking What do you think of farmers do you, Like do you just don't think They deserve it Like he thought that <laughs> I did comedy what? Like automatically meant That I don't give a fuck About farmers Well oh, everybody knows That if you do comedy you, <laughs> Everybody knows That if you do comedy You're taking yeah. money away From Farm. Australian yeah, farmers Yeah exactly so. no, but That was just like A wild five minutes Because like A minute before that Four girls like Stumbled over Just smash And were like just spilled their drinks across the table, soaked me and Blake's arms and shit. Yeah. And then that guy comes over. And I wish I was like, LeBron. And I'll tell you why. A lot of reasons. But I'll tell you why specifically this scenario. Someone comes up to you and they go, oh, you're a comedian. You do comedy. Tell me a joke. And you're like, ah, oh, yeah, funny cunt. Like, oh, come on. Tell us a joke if you're so funny. Oh, my mate fucking Barry should be do comedy because he's fucking funny. How's at the cricket club? <laughs> no one gives a fuck about you, Barry. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you, the reason that it... Like, no one goes up to LeBron and says, do a fucking dunk, LeBron, because you play basketball. And it's because he's six foot nine and Jack. Yeah. That's why I wish I was LeBron because I wouldn't have cunts come up and say, do a dunk for me, LeBron. Yeah. This is why I wish I was LeBron. Uh, tall can dunk um, and I want a child that is prone to cardiac arrest. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, why I want to be LeBron James. Um, yeah, right. Moving on from that. I also just want to say, if you're from the country, I love you. Just get a bit of... Well, do you? About you? Do you really? And stop you've saying... Just been... If you're a tradie, great profession. Stop coming up to me and saying yeah. you're not doing a real job and it's real hard. There's working harder and there's working smarter. All right? Yeah. So no hate. Just stop asking me to be funny and stop saying that we don't deserve money because yeah. and we hate farmers. Brother, because stop. I milk, am a farmer. Stop I'm milking not a farmer, fucking. But I, have, I know farmers. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> you know farmers. <laughs> I know they exist. <laughs> All my best friends are farmers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's crazy how farmers are only make up thirteen percent of the population. <laughs> 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 uh, I would like. It. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. What do you reckon of farmers? <laughs> the money should go to them. <laughs> where yeah. Do, where do far, if Farlan, Farlam, that's where they live instead of Harlem because we're making a black people to farmer connection there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Buy the tickets to Blake's next yeah. stand. Yeah. <laughs> Filled well, with jokes like that one. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. So you just wrapped up your tour, you said. Yep. Okay. Um, well, we have actually taken the liberty to ask Zach, who filmed your show, if he could mm. play a couple clips from your show because me yes. and Ben didn't go to the last one. We went okay. to an early couple, but we didn't go to the last one and we really wanted to know like how you were at the end of the tour yeah. when you've really honed in on the mm. set. Because You're not going to make mistakes and it's probably going to kill and we wanted to hear those clips. Thank you've you. been touring around Australia for quite a while now, so mm. you'd be pretty... Spot on with all your jokes and and what you've got mm. planned and yeah. and the crowd the crowd towards the end of the tour is like probably getting the best performance. I think we saw you halfway through and it was amazing. About a bit earlier probably. And it was amazing then. Mm. We loved it. So we've Thank got you. Zach who yeah. filmed the most recent no, one. No, this isn't the most recent, but it's very recent towards the end of the tour. Yeah. Sunny Coast. Can we? Um, yeah. Do we need headphones, headphones for this? Yeah, headphones okay. on. Headphones uh, on. Crew. Right. Uh, no, yeah, no. so basically, sorry, we just had a few technical difficulties, but uh, to bring you back up to scratch because that was two hours ago, Blake, you've got um, you've been, you're at the, you finish your show. We're going to play some clips from the end of the show mm. because the crowd's going to be more hyped, yep. engaged. We want to hear your material really when it was good. really killing when you've really honed mm, in on it. So yeah, we got yeah. Zach to get us some exclusive I, clips. I remember this being like a really good show. So uh, yeah, I just picked what? out some random moments. Which show is any good? Um, oh, you'll see. Uh, yeah, here we go. Ain't like anybody with their mother tonight. <laughs> Two, okay? Rest of you, pieces of shit. Mum's tits! Fuck you! Get off the fucking stage! Damn! Get off the stage, guy! Wow. Oh, whoa. <laughs> uh, so, I, I, that. I remember that show being So, we'll just talk about that clip. 
Yeah. Blakey, was, what, what was going on? What, what happened? That was genuinely the best show I've ever done, I think. So, the, the, well, so are we listening to the same clip? Because it sounded like you were booed off stage. Mm. Yeah. I heard a, I heard a your mum's tits in there. I don't which know. was that? Which show was that? I think Sunny Coast, which Sunny I, I Co- thought that I, was pretty good. Didn't yeah. you say Sunny Coast was the best? Sunny Coast was the best, yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, Ma- well, maybe that was just a bad... Bad crowd, bad, maybe. Well, maybe just a bad part of that. Oh, crowd. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go to later yeah, in the show. Let's okay. one of the jokes, yeah. I remember okay. it being pretty good. Um, yeah, we'll just... Let's go. Mm-hmm. What? Sunny Coast sounds nice. No, it doesn't. Shut up! Yeah. Oh, my God. You're not funny. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay, I just randomly scrolled through. The- so, yeah, uh, that definitely, yeah. that you're not funny was resounding. Yeah. yeah. Resounding. So, do you take that personally when cr- crowds are... I didn't think that would happen to you, but obviously... Wait, so you were doing improv? That was all improv, yeah. yeah. There's yeah, a really funny I'm- bit. If you go to like 40 minutes into that recording, um, mm. they do what we call in the showbiz a Kramer, um, <laughs> which is... But yeah. So Sunny Coast sounds nice. Was that... Am I missing something with the joke? Yeah, where was, or was the, that? Where was the joke? There was no punchline. Have there. you been to the Sunny Coast? Did you have any jokes that got laughs? <laughs> huh? Did you have any jokes that, that got laughs? No, no. Um, uh, so how are nah. the tickets to the to this? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll just yeah, back. I, I, we'll play, we'll play another one. I, I think they laughed it. Okay, let's just one hear of the... these. Um, yeah, I'm just scrolling through, looking for it. Um, I'm say you are gonna never celebrate a Mother's Day if your love life is that shit. Boo! Get off the stage, you fuck with. Boo! Fuck off! This is so shit and cringe and embarrassing. No one cares that you're dying. <laughs> Wow, yeah. that <laughs> bloke went. That was the funniest strike I'd heard. Whoa, <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's uh, insane! You got footage from when my dad came to the show. <laughs> yeah. That insane. is crazy. That's so, I didn't realize his crowds were like that. But how so do you how do you deal with that? Yeah. They're pretty rough. Well, I just yeah. I mean, Have you ever thought about that. doing funny jokes? Yeah. So like Why crowds don't you get wouldn't someone do who's that. Funny to write your jokes, like Ben. Can you? Yeah. Oh, I'm busy. <laughs> no, um, well, look, those were obviously, yeah. Maybe no, that yeah, was just you know a bad me, show. Like, my stuff's more like you know, the TikTok crowd work. So you go, like, what do you yeah. do? And they're like, I'm a consultant. And then you go, what do you consult? Blows the fucking roof off the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we'll just. Um, mm. Look, that, we'll address was... the elephant in the room. Oh, so shit. That, that Moving on from that, we have we've uh, we've prepared some photos. G- just before we get into that, I cannot wait for the podcast to get the one comment from that from like this guy who's like, "Oh fuck, it was like actually like fucking bombing, hey." <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? But yeah, I don't. I don't know. What you <laughs> nah, mean. moving on from that, we we've got some photos from uh, nah, that Zach's is provided. That, is that what's next? Nah, but we skipped over it before, so. Wait. Oh, did we? Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that so all right? Gonna, Can yeah, I continue we're speaking, Zach? Completely Zach? rip off um, <clears throat> same way that I stole your uh, series and made it better on TikTok. Uh, we're going <laughs> to steal Sean Evans's "Explain That Gram." Okay, yeah. But it's mm. just "Explain That Photo." Mm. Great. So, so it's we'll, not the we'll exact call it same. "Explain That Photo." Snap. Explain that snap. We'll call it Snatch Chat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Zach's, Zach's got some photos that he's taken. We'll put them up on screen. You. So if you are watching on YouTube, you'll see them. And if you're not, we'll explain the photo to you. Um, yeah. So, so this is where you're most vulnerable on tour. You're okay. thinking. Yeah. yeah. So here's the. So, so yeah, one. you can look at that. And I'm just going to look at it on my phone. <laughs> so we're looking at the same one. Uh, will. What's what's happening in the photo? Can we. Yeah. But Blake, scroll? can you tell me so I know which one you're looking at? I, it's me with a blue tongue. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. Um, where was this taken? Uh, I think it was after you went and watched Avatar two. I think it's mm. I think it's after you sucked off the main person from Avatar. Sam Worthy. This is yeah. this is what it, it looks and like. He for glued those his blue listeners. goo in your mouth. This is what the or photo Papa looks Smurf. Like. <laughs> or Papa this Smurf. is what it looks like. It it looks like you know when you go to Macca's at five a.m. <laughs> yeah. on in the city. And you're fighting for your life not to get killed by a crackhead. I look like, and then one you turn and it's like the ding noise yeah. from a horror movie. I look like and if Logan Paul's girlfriend went speak? to Smurfville. <laughs> <laughs> can you let me speak, mate? The joke when the jokes come, I have to get them out. Yeah, mm. yeah. So uh, good crowd reaction in those shows. <laughs> uh, let it, it's it's and it, it's like if one of those crackheads was just in your face, going ah, and you're like, how's your tongue this blue? Talk to us. 
<laughs> well, that that would be an accurate description. That would be an accurate. Mm. I, I think, I, think I actually do remember what that's from, though. Can it, I, I think we were in Brisbane and you got like a well, weird lolly. Oh, I got a t- I got it's a... like when I it's like the Mona Lisa. When I move my head, it's still looking at me. Mm. Like it actually is a bit like still... that. It looks like a very drugged out Blake Pavey, so obviously be... on one of his um Ket world Benders. famous Ket Benders. Yeah, in a in a like fast food establishment or a servo, servo. station. I think I'd got early mm. in the morning with the very blue tongue. Do you have from... a time stamp on that? I think it was four thirty a.m. Maybe yeah, was explains. this the first time that you that you that you tried um, when you like spray paint your face and you like breathe in the fumes? Yeah. It must have been like blue spray paint. You were I doing. think I'd I think I'd got a brain liquor that night, which I hadn't had since like the year three swimming mm. carnival. Which but at a server they're like six bucks, and then. As I, I'm obviously at a server, and I think that's like two dollars nineteen a litre. Brain liquor that I paid for, so I'm fucking doing pretty well. Mm. Right, <laughs> yeah. on to the next one. Okay, what's the next one you got? Is it this one? Yes. Okay, this is me uh, snacking away mm. uh, in Adelaide. I remember specifically we'd gotten home after a night out. Mm. What then, snack is that? Uh, I'm currently sucking back a Yakult. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah, I love so Yakult. You can see that you got a Yakult, yeah. and then on your bedside table, you got a can of full strength Coke. Yep, kind of cool. And you also Next got a 1.25 litre bottle of uh, Kirk's Creaming Soda. <laughs> yep. And a bottle of pills, I'm assuming, is drugs. Mm-hmm. And yep. uh, Wallet Sunnies. And what are those? What are those? That big red bag? I believe they are Maltese's biscuits. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so do you have any shame? Not only taking all the money from the farmers, but taking all the food away from everyone in Australia. Oh, absolutely. Can I explain what was actually happening in this photo, though? Please. Uh, we'd been out on a night out, and at that point in time, I bongs? was the only... A few, I think, more than a few. <laughs> yeah. At that point in the tour, I was the only one, one of the only ones besides, like, may, oh, one or two of us who was, like, in a relationship. Mm. All the other boys were single, and one of our other mates in the tour crew who I won't name um, was, was with uh, probably what I would describe as um, <laughs> the most insufferable cunt of all time. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. So you hate women as well. <laughs> no, no it, was, it was actually Zach, but, um, but no, she was quite annoying and I didn't want to have any interaction with her. And I was like, I don't really know how long I'm going to have to bunker myself down for. This could be like eight hours, could be 24. I don't know when I'm going to get out. So I just went to the fridge while they were in the bathroom and got every snack I could find available and brought it back to my room. Survival instincts. Yeah. Do you not have trouble? Not do you not have trouble going to sleep after polishing off a full strength Coke and a one point two five liter bottle of fucking creaming soda? I will. I will um, defend myself that the creaming soda did not get drunk until the night after. Mm. Did it ever go in the fridge in that time, or did you drink it warm? It went back in the fridge. Okay. Don't you worry about that. Okay. Moving on to the next photo, my favorite. This is the last one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like this. Um, What's going on here? What's happening in the photo for the listeners? Uh, my girlfriend has really started to take advantage of her boyfriend um, getting social media opportunities to the point where now people have started sending her stuff from like mm. bikini brands. So you're like a big like, deal in that. Yeah, Sick. I would. Yeah. So my girlfriend got sent a bikini and they just said she had to like promote it on her social media. So they obviously wanted my girlfriend to get a to to get the bikini on, but um, that was a little loophole that we found where I would put the bikini on mm. for means of promotion. So mm. why not let a queen slay and yeah, on very own? Jonah Hill of you. Why, yeah. why, why, why controlling not? some would yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just also look better in a bikini. Oh, that's I would true. say. That's true. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's so, it. Okay, yeah. well, thanks for explaining those photos. It clears it up for us. Mansplaining. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, look, so let's circle back to you fucking destroying those shows and I'm assuming many people's lives and mental health who went and witnessed. Thank you. Um, and also probably their bank accounts because what was it you charged for a show? $250 tickets. Oh, well, that's not including VIP. Though. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, so, well, yeah, look, me and Ben felt bad. <clears throat> Thank you. So we have, in the time that you were explaining those grams, we've thought we would give you the opportunity to redeem well, yourself. Because Ooh. you we've been talking all week and I don't know if the, if the, um, you guys uh, know how much work and preparation goes into each each episode of the podcast. And we've been back and forth all week and yep. flo- uh, bouncing ideas off each other. And, and you said that you want, you've got a new tour 
well, maybe new tour coming up next mm-hmm. year and you've got some jokes that you wanted to uh, give <laughs> our audience okay and uh, gauge yeah. the reaction so you mm. you said I'll oh, come on under one condition that I get to tell some new jokes that yeah. I've written so redemption of jokes yeah. we'll we've uh, we we'll give you the spotlight for a bit yeah. and uh, let you. you let you tell these jokes that okay, you've yeah, so, so worked we'll get hard producer Zach to hand you the jokes yeah, that you wrote wait let me just so these are the ones that you wrote this is you proving yourself based on how bad the jokes you told before yeah. were right yeah yeah so 100%. Just, I'll just get you a good one here um yeah, this one's good. So these are pre-written. These are, this is an improv. Yeah, I can, okay. d- I can. Sign. And you did write these. The, I, these, I did, are, these were written. I by did you. write yeah, these. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are we, are we putting that in public platform? Uh, maybe right. just read the joke. Yeah, okay. so just read the jokes that you wrote. So just this is a Blake Pavey joke that Blake Pavey wrote. Um, <laughs> what happens when a woman smokes, does drugs, and street fights while pregnant? What, Bla- what happens? A Blake, a Blake Pavey fan. You get a Blake Pavey fan. That was pretty poorly written by you. Wow. It, yeah. <laughs> maybe don't <laughs> include that one in the yeah, next yeah. That's kind of <laughs> <laughs> right, maybe, maybe it was just a bad start. Maybe, hey. Just, um, <laughs> it's only up yeah. from here now. Yeah, that, that was, oh, that was, was I thought that was one of your... Do you want us yeah, to? Um, ones, do you want us to fake laugh? No, 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 no. Because no. okay. okay. we can add here's, laughs in. Here's another one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah we'll thanks. Just, uh, uh, what's the difference between Leonardo DiCaprio and Rolf Harris? One was in the Wall Street, and the other one is my hero. Wow! Jesus Christ, Blake, Blake. <laughs> that, <laughs> you are walking a fine line there, buddy. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I mean, I'm starting to re- like see why they were booing. But uh, <laughs> jeez, yeah, if you okay. were saying that stuff just, like this, wow. um, going uh, Are we sure we want him on the pod? <laughs> oh my uh, god, they, they, these a, are written down. I think this one's, this one's pretty good. Okay, um, we'll, we'll see what he's got now. What do you call a terminally ill kid with a drug problem? What? Blake Pavey. <laughs> what? <laughs> just outing himself. Yeah, just Did you get this mixed up with my fun fact? <laughs> right. Just, just a cry for help oh, or joke? Yeah, Blake, are you okay? Is anyone else? Oh, yikes. Is it getting hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> we'll, um, we'll give you one last one. This is your last Okay, last one. Uh, we'll there's still a few more. Bring it home. How many no, did no, you no, write? No, how many, no. I mean, how many did I write? There was only... Um, I'll we'll only give you four. Can okay. I read the other ones? <laughs> Can I read them? They're not written. Oh, right. Um, Bring it home, baby. <laughs> this one's... I've obviously just plagiarised a Norm MacDonald joke <laughs> with this one. Um, what What did the kid with no arms and no legs get for Christmas? What? Cancer. Wow! Yes. Well, no, I'll I'll I'll, oh I'll put up with the other ones, but that is that where is, we draw the line. Yeah, that's okay, far. that is fucked. That's not yeah. even like funny. Uh, we are you planning on ro- saying these in front of yeah. people or Maybe, probably, yeah? Do you have a soul? Wagga's gonna love it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, now that I'm depressed, I'm going to do what my mum told me to always do when I'm sad, and that's drink. So we're going to go into mm. next segment: beer review. Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. Okay, yeah. exciting one, and you guys are going to move. I fucking love beer of you. Sorry to any head. Sorry, we just had to get the energy back up um, after Blake sucked it all out of the room yeah. with those jokes. Okay, Jesus so uh, <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Exciting week for beer review. Headphones on for the, this one oh, as wow. well. Ooh. So. No, can I just preface this by saying Zach told us that this was the best beer review he's ever it's, written. It's a pretty fucking good. Right, so can you turn my headphones down a bit, please? I, I can't do that. How the fuck do I do it then? You, you can't do it. It's just. Well, can you stop squealing then? Can you stop running your mouth? <laughs> All right. So Liam's <laughs> getting muted for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I have the power. Um, no, so this week's beer review. That is really fucking loud. It's from a fan. Oh, fuck me. Um, Just move your head back. Don't speak into the mic so harshly. Don't suck off the mic. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think I felt when you fucking screamed? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> um, yeah, so this week's beer review, I've actually been kind of talking with a fan. And mm. he actually has a great story. Mm. He's from um, the UK. Mm. And he was like, oh, man, there's this drink that you guys have to Do try. the accent. It's from the UK. No, so... What's the he, UK? United Kazakhstan? Yeah, <laughs> no, the United Kingdom. Oh. Uh, and it's, a, it's 
a good drink, I think, he said, and it's from London, and uh, he actually sent me a voice memo on how he got the beer. Mm. So he, he sent a little voice oh, message. Oh, so someone else is doing the beer review. On the journey, yeah. So you've outsourced your only role. Yeah, but it's, trust me, it's worth it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'll Are be you the, yawning, we'll be the judge Are we boring you with our fucking... You've just had a fucking Red Bull <laughs> and now you're yawning. All right, so this is from... Um, what was his name again? Probably because all the coke he does. <laughs> <laughs> his Why name is... Itching? I was promised on the pod that I would get coke and I've not been delivered that. <laughs> so this is uh, a story from Jerry Turtlecock. Yeah. Mm, this is just a recording of our call. R- riveting <laughs> oh, okay. This is great stuff <laughs> <laughs> Hello boys It's Jerry Turtle Coffee here I love the pod Because <laughs> you like When you like talk and stuff It's like really funny isn't it <laughs> But anyway I've got this week's beer review for you So here's like the story of how I got it uh, So I was having a session with my mates And uh, <laughs> we just came back from a football match Where we saw our boys Man United win So yeah I guess you could say We were a bit up and about and uh, we were starting to hit the clubs and then one of them wanted to invite some birds over and I was like, <laughs> so I invited the Galdem around and uh, they were just fucking peng. So uh, I'm chatting this one bird up, yeah, and she's all over me, bro, like, I swear to God. And we go to the club and we have a good time there and then afterwards I go back to this bird's house, right, and uh, we're about to get it on and like then her fucking husband gets home and uh, he starts yelling at me and telling me to get out. So I'm like fucking kidding at this point and I don't know what's going on. So he like grabs a cricket bat and starts acting like he's going to you know, fucking you know, hit me with it. And I'm, I'm still out of it, you know, and I'm about to run when all of a sudden, yeah, like, you won't believe, you fucking won't believe this. I see he's wearing a Man United scarf and I go... Are you an MU fan? And he goes, yeah, yeah, how about you? And I'll go, bloody hell, fucking, fucking get out of here, get out of town. And then uh, I take off my shirt and show him that I've got a full MU jumper tattoo on me. <laughs> and uh, he drops the cricket bat and he asks if I want to have a beer. So, yeah, we sit down and have a beer on his balcony and then I end up bloody fucking him instead. So, <laughs> get a load of that. Anyway, we go out and just sit beers until we sunrise together and... Tell you what, best bloody drop I've ever had. I, sa- I saved one and sent it over for you, Zach, to try today. So, uh, yeah, this has been Jerry. And, uh, yeah, as I said, I love the pod. Um, yeah, because you guys, f- I love it when you talk. So, <laughs> anyway. Jerry oh, Turtlecock yeah. should try stand-up. Yeah, yeah he's, he's funny. talented. Jerry Turtlecock. That's, That's a funny great. man. Right? So, he's got a voice for it as well. well thanks for sending that over. I Thank think. you, Jerry. Shout out Jerry. Shout out Jerry. Yeah. Uh, he, and he's shagging blokes. Jerry definitely calls Guinness vitamin G. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you, would you say you're smashing it? Oh, uh, someone wanted to take it. <clears throat> Uh, this is the bit of the podcast I'm confused about. Who tries the beer on this? We all do. Oh, great. But Liam rates it. Liam, yeah. What a man, uh, Jerry. Ooh. Gordon's Gin from London. Oh, wow. fuck it. It's not really Spare beer, me. is it, Jerry? You fucking yeah, cockhead. Gin and tonic, <laughs> fucking gin and tonic with a hint of lemon. G and T. Mm. It's the choice for me. G and T. So, yeah. I'm a bee yeah. keeper. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I'm also about? a fucking sleeper. <laughs> Build. I fuck your mum. She yells, "Go deeper." Oh, Ooh, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's listen to this fucking sax. Oh, oh, great crack. Right. Right. All right, um, while, Liam, while Liam sips oh, oh, and... Uh, it's Gordon's gin is, with a hint of lemon in a can and it says, London! Dry gin. So, yeah, it, it looks like shit. It's a silver can with a little yellow logo. I hate gin because it makes me so dry. And... Does it get points for the crack sound? Mm. Mm-hmm. It has we'll, to be considered. We'll yeah. give that a plus one, whatever the score is. While but... Liam drinks that, Blake, do you, do you have any jokes just off the top of your head that... Maybe you can redeem yourself from that. Yeah. Um. How how oh. how funny would it be if? Um, Actually, don't worry. You don't have to make one up here. I've got one for you. Oh, he's got another one. Uh, it's good. Good stuff. It's all. It's all. It just says come. Liam, uh, how's the beer you just had? That beer was fucking. That's <laughs> honestly my least favorite thing I've ever drunk on the podcast. That I wouldn't be able to drink ten of those if my mum's life depended on it. Can we just uh, circle back? Come boy, do you think, want to sip it? I don't think this got enough appreciation. It just says 
Come. <laughs> Look, maybe in the crowds of Townsville and fucking Ginger where you do your shows, those jokes might hit. Genuinely, Townsville probably would have loved it. I called them a word that I'm actually not allowed to the say. The N-word? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can you try that? I'm going to tell you what it tastes like to me. And I, the, uh, I'm going to give you... Normally, I make a pretty lighthearted, like, tangled reference or something. The feeling it gives you? Oh, that's fucking lovely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is what that tastes like to me. The experience. <laughs> All that reminds me of is dirt fields with barbed wire fences and like tumbleweeds going past that are made of a fucking like razor wire from the jails. Yeah. And then it's like you venturing through and it's like blizzardy and you're trying to like find a water source and then you find something you're like, oh, fuck yeah, I found something finally. Like I've been hiking for so long. You run, you dig and it's just a mirage and you go, oh, fuck, no water. And then you see water again and you go, oh, I don't, I don't trust that it's there, but I'll go anyway. It's not a mirage. It's a liquid, but it's fucking... Straight vodka. Mm. That's what that tastes like. It tastes like a never-ending trap of dried death and shit. And I hate it. And it's a one out of ten for the crack. Well, I would oh. say mine, I, the best dis- the description I would give it, if, if it was like you were just searching, you were just so parched, you were like walking through a desert. And again, it's like you can't find any water source. So you're just digging and digging and digging. And you're going like a cave. You become like James Franco in 127 hours. You literally will have any liquid substance whatsoever. You come across that after cutting off your own leg and you get out and you drink it. And then you go, oh, it tastes like cum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so and you're that a prop in the coming. industry yeah. is what we call a callback. <laughs> yep. Um, oh, gin sucks. I actually hate gin as well. Yeah. Gin's probably the it's worst. It's a one out of ten. We'll put that Anyone on the who board. likes gin, like, yeah, gin's it's my drink. It's just an old woman's drink. Oh, gin's my and drink. People trying to pretend to be classy. Couple of GTs after work at the fucking bistro, bro. Couple of GTs. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the voice of the people who drink gin. Well, like, Oh, I love a G and T after work. It's lovely. Oh, it's just, well, <laughs> it's just um, nice. would you come around and like over to my oh, house so for a G and T? Blanky, if you come around, I might get a bit naughty and have a conversation. <laughs> We've got some biggies and G and Ts. I've got some Gordon's gin. It's my favourite, and sometimes the pink gin. Apparently, pink gin makes you cry. Pink gin makes you. Uh, uh, I think it's cry or something. Yeah, because mm. I think there was just one guy and he drank a heap of pink gin and then he. Drove his car into a family and he was crying when they found him. And he's like, oh, I was drinking pink gin. And Must they're like, oh, that pink gin makes you cry. Oh. So, uh, yeah. there you go. So, mm. well, now I cry every day of my life. It's because I drank g- pink, pink gin. gin yeah, it's because I slip pink gin into your, into your mouth while you're sleeping every night. Is that the only thing? <laughs> you wish. I don't. I mean, I I don't wish. We're going to end the podcast right here. <laughs> yeah. So, obviously, we're, we're very close friends with... With Blake, and this has been a bit more of a joking, bit, bit of banter, banter feel, taking the piss episode. Yep. Um, so if you liked it, it's been leave fucking a comment. weird. Leave it a comment. Weird. It's felt weird, but but it's been good. I've had heaps of fun. I'm yeah. happy I mean, staying in a weird energy because mm. I feel like, and I'm gonna get serious <clears> here for a second. It can get very repetitive being someone such as yourself going on podcasts and being asked the same questions. How did you get started? What yep. are your big motivations? What What was your first viral video? What blah 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 blah. People want jokes. Are you getting paid yet, bro? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mate. I was at the fucking rise of the other night, and um, this dude was like, "Oh, what do you do for work?" And I was like, oh, "I make YouTube videos." And it was like I told him that the world, like the aliens, had just rocked up to the riser. He was just flabbergasted, mm. and then he's like, "Oh, right." And then, um. I was saying like to someone else that he overheard. I was just like, oh, talking about YouTube and stuff. I was like, oh yeah, got to got to make a living. And then he comes back over and he's like, oh, so do you actually do make money from that? You don't have another job as well. I was like, no, I've been doing this for years now. Just don't have another job. Don't need one. And he's like, oh right. So like, how does that work? And I'm sick of explaining YouTube AdSense to people. Yeah, it's like I, f- I hate I hate mm. explaining this. It's like surely by now people are starting to realize and brands want to sell products. They get people who have audiences to sell those products. It's the same as putting an ad on the Super Bowl. You put it, an ad on a YouTube video. Yeah, it's not even that. It's not that fucking tough. It's just I made something and then there's ads on it. People yeah. need to pay me for fucking putting ads on it. This is That's what I explain. To be fair, he was a concreter, so yeah, yeah. but like he's he probably doesn't have a he probably doesn't have a ver- like a Brand. great understanding of of how <laughs> YouTube works. He's probably a farmer. <laughs> yeah. So hate you that. hate concreters as well, Blake. Yeah. No, wow. but 
just I, I, lay my pavement and shut the fuck. That's up. why we wanted to do something different because we. That's why we want to do something different with you because we. Um, it does get repetitive explaining to everyone the whole story and like everyone you meet having to explain. If someone's over the age of forty, I'm honestly gonna just start telling people that I'm a fucking. Fun. I was trying to think of a job that I can start saying that you wouldn't have to elaborate. Doctor. Like if you're like, oh, I'm a bricklayer. He's like, oh, which company? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, fucking, I don't know. I um. Bricks what's a, are, what's a job? What's a job that I can start fucking saying to people? Because if, I'm sick of explaining. Say to you're people a professional who are archer. Because who the fuck knows anything mm. about archery? Like, how do you make money doing that? Like, oh, Eesh, there's Google oh, AdSense shit. and they put ads on your videos. <laughs> you should say you're a uh, escort. What's that? I, I don't know, but it sounds like something you should tell people. Like it's, I it sounds oh, like I scored yeah, old like people to play. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm going to yeah, start saying that. If yeah. I get one more time, um, like, like obviously, the tell me a joke, that's fine, but you t- who cares? But then also, like, so do you, like, fucking make it up on the spot? Or <laughs> do you fucking, like, write that shit? Do you fucking write it down? I'm like, I fuck, I obviously, do you think I make up a whole hour every night? <laughs> that'd be, that'd be, that'd be, that'd do you think I'm pulling out well. this out of my fucking hat every night just <laughs> off the cu- cum? Yeah, that's that's right. that's some that's some deeper thinking. Yeah. So moving on, um, do you like <laughs> make it up on the spot, or do, you like, <laughs> <laughs> or, or do you write that shit down? Yeah. All right, we've got a top three, top three cities in Australia, and you're going to tell us, but you're going to do it quick. Top three cities that you've uh, done on your tour. Go. Uh, number three, Melbourne. Number two, uh, Brisbane. Number one, Perth. Wow. Mm. I was expecting Daniloquin, uh, Aubrey, and Wagga. 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 Okay, top three worst cities yeah. in okay. Top three worst places in Australia that Blake's performed comedy shows at. Shout out if you're from any of these. Okay, uh, number, number three, Bundaberg. Mm-hmm. Number two, Wagga, number one, Shepparton. Yep. Mm. Yeah, well done. Mm. Wagga is in Wagga, three. short for Wagga Wagga. Mm. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, yes. That's t- anyone international. There's a town called Wagga Wagga, and it featured in an episode of The Simpsons. Just letting everyone know. Did it actually, yeah, they were like, um, when someone went on like a reality TV show, like Bert's Family Feud or something, it was like, which of these towns is not real? Wagga Wagga, and then like a different one. Fuck. That's so weird. there you go, Wagga. <laughs> so Blakey, um. To close us off, we've been uh, made prim- primmy, privy, privy. We've been made privy to the fact that you are super good at impressions. Can you do one for us? I can do an impression for you if you okay. want. Sure. Okay. Um, this is uh, Peppa Pig. Um, if she was really confused about um, uh, one of our more racially ambiguous friends in the room. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, Saki, um, what fucking nationality are you? (laughs) (laughs) I was trying so hard not to laugh. Oh, fuck. That ruined the whole end of our thing. (laughs) We were meant to fucking... Why why do you look like an (laughs) African-American, but your dad is white, but your dad talks like an (laughs) African-American? (laughs) <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh, my. The oh. whole point of us asking you to do that Was to catch you off guard And us go Oh that sucked And end it <laughs> That was great <laughs> That was, oh, that we'll was too funny That was too funny Well alright Big thanks to Blake Pavey For coming on And doing these fucking jokes And shit like that Make sure to buy his tickets To his next show They're 800 bucks And uh, we hope that we've really Encouraged you they to do it They also haven't came do, out yet. Do you have anything <laughs> yeah. That you want to plug? Uh, yep. Uh, that's enough out of here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, actually, do you want to? Yeah, do you want to plug anything? Uh, yep. Uh, go listen to my podcast, uh, BLT. Um, All right. Well, thank you everyone for listening. I hope you enjoyed this different style of podcast. Thought we'd mix it up and uh, put uh, give Blakey a bit more of an interesting run than mm-hmm. fucking asking him the same old yeah. shit. Did you have fun, Blake? I had fun. Yeah. Well, I thought it was. Oh, fun. but for those who are actually curious and and because there's a lot of people out there who aren't capable of understanding the idea of satire those clips of blake's show were edited with me zach and ben's booing and abuse blake's show is do very we need good. to put this in here i don't reckon we no do. people aren't that oh people are that. yeah people but it's like funny if we don't well if they make it to this far late in the episode then they they deserve it like tell, it. tell us if you liked that style yeah blake's yeah, shows are good do even if you kind of don't we're still gonna do it because it was way more fun yeah blake's shows are good yeah yeah oh and next week 
We've got entree, the other half. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, the other part of Oh, yeah, house. as requested by everyone, we have got... Millions of people. We've got the other half Millions. of Misfit Minds, uh, and Shui. The Nick. bigger half. Yeah. yeah. Well, I gave him a half because he Ate the weighs other the half. same as the other two. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And if you're wondering who he is, used to be a fucking touring, a huge DJ. Also, he's German. Also, he did boxing, and now he's part of the Misfit Minds gang. And he owns a samurai sword. And he he does have a samurai sword. And Very a, interesting He's bloke. got one of Australia's best mullets. Yeah, he does. so uh, we will be getting him on next week. So make sure you tune in next week. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment. Uh, follow the uh, podcast Instagram, Sunset Pod, because then you can get featured in an episode. You can send in your stories just like uh, Jerry Turtlecock. <laughs> and um, shout out Jerry. He's a sick cunt. <laughs> Thanks for uh, listening. We had heaps of fun. We'll talk to you next week. Peace. Love you. Bye. Have a good Sunday. Bye. Love you. Fuck you! 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 Fuck